All right, welcome back to C Programming Skills Using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre, where we'll do the final version of our food menu program. Uh, for version 5, we're just going to give a summary of the order uh, when it's available. We will also uh, display the time when the order was taken, and we will also um, tell the user the order will be ready in uh, X number of minutes. So let's uh, jump right into it. So you should have the version 4 from the previous uh, demonstration where we uh, start up version 4 and we say whether we want the day specials, uh, ask whether it's for takeout delivery. We then enter our choices and we get a summary of um, how much it is and our payment choice and we'll say uh, we did uh, play with cash and it gives our our summary there so um, what we want to do is for this final part give a summary of everything uh, show when the order was taken and when it will be available so I would say let's do this let's say um, uh, since we're going to be dealing with time let's go ahead and do and include uh, time dot h Okay, and we'll go ahead and do a, a 5, because uh, this is going to be our version 5. The reason I wanted to do time, we're going to display the time uh, the order was taken. And um, maybe we'll, we'll also do this. Right now, we'll just hard code it. We'll say uh, order delay, and we'll say 10, and we'll say that's minutes. So maybe, or maybe we'll call it order prep time. That might be better. Order prep time. So some some restaurants, whatever you order, they say give them 10 minutes. Uh, others actually dynamically change the time, but for here we'll just have the uh, or the order prep time is 10. And then uh, we'll have the, of course, all of uh, what we're what we're uh, preparing for them. So let's let's do this. I'll um, I'll come down here to the end. And say for this last version, there like many ways, there's different ways we could implement. But let's display the order summary and order time. So let's let's actually take care of the order time. We'll say uh, we have this thing called time type. So I'll say now. So that's our variable called now. So I'll say now equals. Let's do time. Uh, this takes a parameter, but if we pass in null for the t for the t parameter, it'll give us the current time. So basically, now is when the order was placed. So we'll say uh, print f your order was placed at backslash n, and to to display the time. One of the functions we looked at in an earlier video is called C time. And notice C time, when I type that in, notice it gives us a character pointer. In other words, it points to a character, which is going to really be a string of what time it is. So what we'll do is say, let's do a print, a, a, character, a, a character pointer now. I'll say str for the string. And we'll say now the string is going to be equal to time and we pass in now. And notice we're getting a warning here. It says incompatible integer to pointer conversion. Now I think I'll ignore this just to show how we'll crash, but it's, it's warning us. It's saying, you know, you're, you're kind of setting yourself up here. It's not an error, but I'm warning you because you've got, you're passing in an integer and I'm expecting you to pass in a, a pointer. So but, but again, for demonstration purposes, let's just leave it like that. And uh, I'll say print f percent s is a string. And in this case, the string that comes back already has a new line in it. So I don't have to put a new line here. I don't have to do backslash n. I can just do percent s. So I'll click on run. Uh, actually, let me uh, click on stop and clear my screen. Over here and clear my screen 
Click on Run. And of course, we're getting the warning, right? Incompatible types. It's definitely, and it's even pointing. It's saying, you know, right here, you're you're passing in an incompatible type. So I'm warning you about this. But again, let's ignore it. We'll say no. We'll say give us a takeout. And we'll choose a burger, and we'll quit. And we'll pay with cash. And whoa, segmentation fault core dumped. And again, the reason I wanted to show this is when you have this happen in your program, segmentation fault, that means your program accessed memory, and memory is referred to as you have different segments of memory, so segmentation fault, you tried to access memory that you were not allowed to access. And so it gives a core dump. Now core, another way to refer to your memory is core. It goes back in the old days where it was literally tiny little cores that look like teeny teeny little donuts and uh, core memory was literally uh, made like that so that's why it says core dumped in any case our our problem was we should have listened to the warning and put this by putting the and sign in front of it it says we're passing it oops I actually got that wrong we're going to pass in um, uh, Oh, isn't that something? Um, um, wow, talk about doing something wrong. Um, I'm going to still keep this here. <laughs> I'm going to still keep this here because it demonstrated the segmentation fault. But you see my problem is I was actually calling this time and, and, and expecting it to return a string when really it was returning an integer. So I'm almost embarrassed that I did not see this up front. I was so focused on showing the error the issues in front of me I, I totally ignored but I'll tell you why I'm keeping it in, in the tape or in the, the video and not editing it because having taught this course many many years this is the exact kind of thing I'll see a, a student do and get totally stumped on it and send me say you know why am I getting a segmentation fault so in this case I was really wanting to do C time C time and I was I was again wanting to show it like this. This is still an error, right? It's warning us. It's saying, you know what? Incompatible type. In fact, let me run this one. You know, now that I made the change, and uh, so I'll do a quit, and we're paying cash. Uh, segmentation fault. So this was the one I was thinking I was uh, covering, but the the thing. In both cases, segmentation faults, a, a crash, and, and it's telling us why. It says incompatible integer to pointer conversion. So right here, this now is of time type. It's, it's a time type, but it says what you should pass in to me is a pointer. So this is where we use the pointer to, oops, the pointer to that. And notice as soon as I put the pointer to that value then the error goes away and so now when I run it again just to, to check it out say yes um, Apple quit uh, cash and says your order was placed at this particular thing right this date and time and of course um, if we wanted to the statement said also show all the all the uh, the values that you are are um, going to deliver and I'll say printf your order total was percent D backslash N um, and that was our total and of course you could argue wait a minute didn't we do this earlier and we did actually thinking about it, we did it in the previous version of the the program but I'm gonna do it here as well simply cause I said from version 5 we'd do it in fact, I won't even run that now. And then we will, um, like we did on the other version, what I should have done is taken this code and put it down here. Right? And, and to do, um, to do, uh, include the, so you've done the apples, the burgers, you want to include the, the corn, uh, the drinks, and so forth. And then when you run it, you've got all that. Um, and I guess thinking about it, 
one last thing is we'll say printf well, we'll say your order will be ready in percent d minutes and of course for percent d we will go and put the order prep time that was our our pound defined order prep time so the order will be ready now here's here's my challenge to you do a little cleanup on your version right here I've got some things that maybe are not as clean or I didn't even complete them as well as I should but for your version go ahead and uh, clean it up a little bit for example get rid of these to do's uh, handle you know get rid of the um, actually I take that back for this you can keep the the to do We're, we won't worry about handling cash or charge however if you want to go the extra mile you could even put some additional code uh, there to handle that if you'd like so num apples num burgers total was two dollars your order will be ready in 10 minutes all right so if I scroll back through this wow we did lots of code right lots of code for this spend a lot of time on this uh, make sure you've got it right watch the videos multiple times if you have to uh, I would even challenge yourself is that is after you've done this several times uh, following the videos try to do it yourself try to write it from scratch uh, and you know keeping this in mind that as your uh, outline be a, a great way uh, to learn and prepare uh, as you you learn these coding skills with that we're done we got us our version uh, 5 uh, working as we would like it and when you've got yours all done it'll be uh, something you can run and show people your food menu program ends this lesson thank you for making it this far going through all these different videos and there's certainly uh, more to come in the uh, in the other lessons this is the last video in this particular lesson but in future lessons we'll cover more I'm Norman McIntyre thanks as always for watching